What is up guys? It's ya boy, Rick. All my homies hate Glassway. Cack is here. Guys, thank you so much for stopping by. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button to support the channel and let me know what you think my next intro name should be. That comment section is absolutely wild. All right, today we've got some breaking Destiny 2 news because a Bungie developer, Joe Blackburn, who is the assistant game director for Destiny 2. Like, this is someone pretty high up in Bungie actually went to Twitter and made an absolutely massive thread about the future of PvP, discussing not only a bunch of changes that are coming to PvP within Destiny 2, but also the timeline for those changes, which seasons we can expect to see these things arrive. So if you play PvP, or even if you dabble, these are definitely some important things to keep in mind. And so, let's take a look at this thread. So, he begins with, Ahead of the showcase this month, I wanted to take a little time to talk about Destiny PvP. Competitive modes are part of what makes this game special. I can't imagine a version of Destiny 2 that doesn't involve getting a sweet new gun and taking it for a spin in the Crucible. This year, the team has spent a lot of our future-facing effort on plushing up the current Crucible experience. You've seen some of this already in stasis balancing, reputation updates, and shifting weapon metas. Next season, you'll continue to see this effort with not only changes to 3 peaking, but also what the team has been planning for the revamp of Trials of Osiris. Tune in August 24th for more info. Okay, pause, cause that's a big one. So, we knew there were some changes coming to Trials, but in this tweet, it's straight up referred to as a Trials revamp. So, this means there are some huge changes coming to Trials. And, again, he says tune in to that big August 24th Destiny 2 showcase for the full reveal. However, there is one very important information that we already do know involving some changes, some big changes to Trials, and that is the vendor changes. Bungie very briefly mentioned this, but it's a big deal. When they talked about how they are changing Zavala and the Vanguard vendor to be more like the current Crucible vendor where you rank up, you're now going to be able to rank up in your Vanguard and earn rewards just like you're able to do so with Shax and the Drifter. So actually, you know, quick tip, make sure to turn in all of your Vanguard tokens before Season 15 because they're going to basically disappear in your inventory when Season 15 starts. But they mentioned that a similar change is also happening to Saint-14. So the Trials of Osiris vendor is also getting remade akin to Lord Shax. So there's going to be presumably Trials of Osiris ranks. So you can rank up and earn Trials of Osiris loot potentially by just grinding trials without even a single win potentially, just getting experience from that game mode. So that's actually really exciting in getting uh, more casual players into that playlist. Hey, you can still earn fantastic trials loot. Maybe you can't get the adept version obviously for actually going flawless, but you're in the playlist, you're grinding trials and you're getting consistent rewards that aren't necessarily based on wins. And I think that's an important factor because one of the biggest downsides of trials is a lower player population. Not that many people grind trials and so it exasperates a lot of the problems with that game mode. When we had certain weekends, for example, the first time the Igneous Hammer was on offer at three wins, we had one of the highest trials po player populations of all time and players overwhelmingly had fun that weekend. I actually saw players tweeting like, did Bungie do something about the cheaters? No, it's just that people are actually playing the playlist, so your chances of matching those cheaters are so much less. So that is a huge, huge deal. But continuing with this tweet thread, uh, he continues, we've got to keep our foot on the gas when it comes to revitalizing PvP pursuits and keeping gameplay metas fresh. This isn't something we'll ever be done with, but we know we also have room to grow when it comes to new maps and modes. So 
the first half of 2021, we've been working on the foundation, but now we're spinning up teams on new maps and modes. We believe in this investment, but it is going to take some time before you start seeing results in game. The ultimate goal here is consistency. If you play PVP, the team wants you to understand that you will be getting new maps and modes every year and that the cadence of those coming out feels predictable. But in order to get predictable, we need to open the faucet again. So new maps take time to get right. So to open the faucet for season 16, the team is working on porting two vaulted Destiny 2 maps to be compatible with our engine updates. So they do say, when we upgraded our engine with Beyond Light, it means that we had to port all of the Destiny 2 maps and modes. So while it uh, may seem from the outside like we're just pushing a button, there's a significant lift from the team to get more of this content back in rotation. Then he gives us the actual timeline of when these new PvP maps are finally arriving. So after reprised maps in Season 16, Season 17 will come with a brand new map. There will be a bunch of new environments in Destiny 2, and we're excited to start bringing them to the Crucible. Finally, after those three maps are added to the rotation in Season 16 and 17, we will be remastering a Destiny Destiny 1 map and bringing it to Destiny 2 for the first time in Season 18. Okay, so that is the actual timeline for new maps. Season 16, which is the launch of the Witch Queen expansion. So next season, Season 15, still unfortunately no new maps. But with the Witch Queen, two of the Destiny 2 maps that were taken out of rotation when Beyond Light launched, they're being added back back into the game uh, within the new engine. So two maps are back in rotation in the launch of the Witch Queen. Then the season after the Witch Queen, season 17, brand new map, never before seen map. That's fantastic. Then season 18, one more season after that, then we get a Destiny 1 map that hasn't yet been in Destiny 2 remade. So that is four brand new maps coming all presumably within 2022. Remember, the Witch Queen launches at that beginning, like quarter one of 2022. Season uh, 17 is likely going to be probably in the, in the spring, and then season 18 is likely going to be in the summer. But he continues, all this effort is going to be done in parallel with the team looking to fund the far future with a predictable roadmap of maps in Lightfall and beyond. But the maps are just part of the recipe here. We also know we need to support modes. There are three main efforts going on behind the scenes here. First, the team is investigating getting Rift in Destiny 2 next year. It's been too long since we've dunked on some Guardians. The Destiny sandbox has sped up in Destiny 2, so right now the team is validating that the mode still holds up with our new gameplay. Second, the team is working on multiple brand new modes for 2022. We aren't quite ready to spoil these yet, but we're excited to offer new twists and rules to the ways you can make Shaxx proud. Finally, after the dust settles on the Trials update in Season 15 next season, we want to look at what other broad systematic improvements the PvP ecosystem needs. We want to provide something on the scale of this Trials rework to players every year. So, this tweet thread turned into a kind of a tweet novel, but I wanted to make sure we shed some light on what's going on behind the scenes here. Overall, we're still very interested in growing the amount of destiny we make every year. One way to hold me accountable is by looking at our careers page. We're looking for environmental artists, gameplay designers, etc. Uh, we know you want more Destiny and we are committed to growing the team uh, that's going to make that possible. And he ends here with, it's always risky to talk about what's in the oven as dates and specifics might change, but it's been a while since we've talked PvP and we want players to know that we've worked on content for all of those guardians who like to spend time with Shaxx and the Red Jacks. 
So, a lot to unpack there. Basically, Bungie is saying we haven't completely forgotten about PvP. The Trials remake is coming next season, so that is very soon. And then one season after that, we are getting, uh, well, not really new maps, but the vaulted maps back in rotation. And then we're getting essentially some brand new maps later in 2022 as well. So in 2022, four new maps is a fantastic thing. And guys, there's actually some additional information about Gambit here. So, Paul Tassi jokingly says, where's the Gambit thread? Because Gambit is kind of another game mode similar to the Crucible and PvP that seemingly Bungie has forgotten about. But Joe Blackburn actually replied to that and said, so regarding Gambit, we didn't want to derail that specific thread. Long term, we want to get people working on new maps. Currently, we are playtesting all up Gambit foundation changes for season 16. So that's Witch Queen launch. Focusing on heavy ammo economy, primeval fight, invasion, cadence and power and more. So wow, that this is the first time we've ever heard anything about changes coming to Gambit. But with the launch of the Witch Queen, it sounds like Gambit may be getting some pretty substantial changes. So that could definitely be exciting as well, especially with the launch of a major expansion like Witch Queen, we often do get um, some new ritual loot. So we will likely get new Crucible loot, new Vanguard loot, new Gambit loot. So obviously you're probably going to be going into Gambit to try to get that new loot. Often Gambit has some really powerful weapons on offer. So some huge fundamental changes could really improve that playlist for a lot of people. And so guys, that is all of the information that came out today. Kind of crazy that a Bungie dev just went off on Twitter and revealed a bunch of this information. Definitely this is some good news for PvP players and Gambit players, frankly. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, found it informative, and if you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys want to see more Destiny 2 content, content similar to this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. If you want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at Rick Kakis. That is linked in the description down below. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video and as always, have a good day.